welcome to this Avanti video where we will take a look at the application control functionality in the Security Controls product. We'll start with an overview of the AC functionality and then take a look at where it has been added to the console. This will help you get to know the features and where you can find them. Further videos will be available to walk you through specific tasks. Let's start with finding out a little bit about the application control functionality. Remember, further detail to support the features and the console tasks can be found in the iSec Help available on help.avanti.com. Application Control provides a way of controlling, allowing and denying access to applications on endpoints. This is done by using functionality known as Executable Control, Privilege Management and Browser Control. Executable Control is used to apply rules for trusted ownership to restrict or unrestrict using security levels and to allow or deny files, folders, drives and file hashes. It can be used to manage whether software and scripts are allowed to run or allowed to continue to run when certain events occur, for example, like an end user changing to a new network. Privilege management is used to enable elevation of privileges or restrict rights for users or user groups. The aim is to provide users only with the privileges they require for an application, task or process and nothing more. And Browser control allows you to redirect or prohibit specific URLs. So let's take a look at this diagram which illustrates the steps required to get application control set up and onto an endpoint. We need to build a configuration, create a machine group and add machines, Create an agent policy and add the configuration. Assign the agent policy to a machine. And finally, install the agent down to the machine. Now let's take a look at those steps and see where they can be found in the console. Before you get started, you must ensure that your license covers application control. Licenses can be added and updated in Help, Enter Refresh License Key. Once you are licensed for application control, the options are available for you. To start, we'll build a configuration. Select the new menu and application control configuration. The configuration editor displays and the top level work area allows you to select the functionality you want to use. Executable control and privilege management are selected by default and you must select browser control to activate the functionality. Now to build a configuration. If you would like to set up a library of rules, you can do this in rule collections. The collections can then be applied to rule sets throughout the configuration. Rule sets are where you create the set of policies for the configuration. You can create rule sets that apply to groups, users, devices, scripts or processes. Within the groups rule set, there is the default administrators group and the everyone group. We'll create a new group and call it Demo Group. Once created, you can see a new node appear under Groups. Once you have created the rule sets, you are ready to start building up your configuration by way of adding items. Under each group, you can add executable controls to allow or deny file, folders, drives, file hashes and rule collections. You can add privilege management items for applications, components, self-elevation where you enable self-elevation and system controls. And you can add browser control whereby URL redirection is specified. For the purposes of this video, we'll go back to our demo group and add an executable control. For this example, we want to deny access to a file. And that file is the notepad executable. When changes have been made, you need to save the configuration. If saving for the first time, you are prompted to give it a name. We'll call ours demo config. The configuration is now added to the application control configuration tree. Once you have built your configuration, you will need an agent policy to assign it to. 
So let's go ahead and create an agent policy. From the new menu, select Agent Policy. The Agent Policy Editor displays. Select Application Control. If this is the first time you have used Application Control, you will need to enable it. Done by selecting the Enable checkbox. Once enabled, you can select a configuration to assign to the policy. Any existing configurations can be seen in the drop down. If you do not have any configurations, you can select to create a new one from here. Now that we have a configuration and an agent policy, we need to create a machine group and assign machines to it. From the new menu, select machine group. The machine group dialog displays. Enter the name of the machine group. We'll use demo machine group. Now add the machines to the group. You can enter the name or browse to locate. Once added, you must make sure that the administrator credentials have been set. Once all the machines have been added to the group, highlight the required machines and select Install Agent. Select the policy to assign to the machine and check the machines you want to confirm the installation to, then select Install. Once the configuration has been installed on an endpoint and any edits are made to it, you are given the choice to install immediately or wait until the next polling period. So a quick recap of the steps required. Build a configuration, which is made up of items within rule sets. The configuration is assigned to an agent policy, machines added to a machine group, and an agent policy assigned to a machine. You can then install the agent. I hope you have found this introduction to the AC functionality useful. For further information, please visit help.avanti.com or our YouTube channel.